Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. Uh, today we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is transport in animals. And uh, at this stage, I would want us to discuss the diseases and defects of the circulatory system. So we have a number of uh, diseases and defects that affect the circulatory system. And uh, when you talk of the circulatory system, uh, we talk of the entire system. Some of the diseases can affect the heart, others can affect the blood vessels, and so on and so forth. So basically, we shall look at all of them together. Now, the first disease that I would want us to go through is a disease that goes by the name thrombosis. And this disease is brought about uh, by the uh, is brought about by the formation of a clot within the blood vessels a clot forming within the blood vessels and that means that uh, there is interference with the flow of blood now this clot can either be brought about by large intake of fats uh, building up what is known as cholesterol along the blood vessels it can also be caused by an internal uh, injury happening, uh, making or creating a clot that uh, obstructs the blood from flowing. So, uh, so this is the formation of a clot. Within the blood vessels, which can be attributed to one could be an internal injury that is an injury that is affecting uh, the blood vessels or it can be as a result of accumulation of cholesterol of course due to large intake of fats or fatty foods now uh, this uh, thrombosis uh, sometimes it can affect uh, the coronary artery that supplies blood to the heart muscles so we refer to that as coronary thrombosis that is the type of thrombosis that affects the coronary artery we also have another thrombosis that may occur on the artery that takes blood to the brain and we refer to that as cerebral thrombosis. So we can say that uh, coronary thrombosis is where the clot forms along the coronary artery coronary artery are uh, thus interfering with oxygen flow to the heart muscles We also say that uh, we have cerebral uh, thrombosis and this one forms on the artery that supplies the brain and of course this if it prolongs it can lead to even a stroke. The next uh, uh, disease we look at is another one that is called arteriosclerosis and this is the hardening of arteries 
the arteries harden due to deposition of calcium uh, a situation that uh, uh, obstructs the flow of blood within the arteries it can also be caused by formation of clots in the arteries uh, the third disease this is the uh, it's called the varicose veins and this occurs as a result of failure by the valves to prevent the backflow of blood. And this one is mainly observed by those people who stand for very many hours, like teachers, policemen, whereby there is a problem. When the blood gets to the legs, it's not able to flow back to the upper parts of the body. And that is because of the failure by the valves. So this leads to swelling on the legs due to accumulation of blood. Uh, we also have uh, another disease and this is a uh, hypertension also known as high blood pressure and this is whereby uh, blood pressure goes beyond the normal goes beyond the normal and this one can be brought about by a combination of factors such as even some that we have mentioned such as the thrombosis that is the clots can be caused by a formation of clots a large intake of salt a large intake of salts lack of physical exercise stress that is uh, emotional and psychological stress so to prevent or the control of these uh, diseases, also known as the cardiovascular diseases or uh, diseases of the circulatory system, uh, control is by uh, regular exercise, avoid stress, taking the right diet are the right quantities avoid too much salt and so on and so forth so basically that's how uh, those cardiovascular diseases are controlled by just controlling one's uh, uh, lifestyle 
regular exercise, avoiding stress or stressful situations, taking the right uh, diet, uh, that is with uh, less fat, and avoiding too much of salt. So we'll have a, a short assignment on that. So the first question, what causes the following diseases? One, arteriosclerosis, hypertension, and coronary thrombosis. And number two, state five ways of controlling cardiovascular diseases. So we'll stop there for today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.